Well, it's that time again, folks. Starting another mural in Murfreesboro, Illinois. differently for this mural is that we actually only projected the square so we could prime it. So it's currently about midnight and we just finished our first layer of primer. Now this is not normal paint as you would ex expect to see but it's something called masonry conditioner or also known as acrylic conditioner. I got this tip from a muralist that I've been conversing with and I really think that this is probably one of the best ways to prime raw brick. So we have the conditioner on there and we just put another layer of a blue primer and now we're ready to mark. So you can see up here is that I have my top, I have my pond, and I have my trees. And how I did that is whenever we projected it, I made just little tick marks where the lake was, where the trees started, and so that I can accurately just have that proportionally up there. So that's kind of how I did that. So currently I'm mixing a new green because the green that I got from Sheridan Winds is just way too bright for how far away those trees are. So I'm, at, I'm adding some black, I'm adding some red to just tone down the chroma. I'm also adding some brown just to make it more realistic. and the end of day one. We put in the color blocks and tomorrow we can go in with the detail. not believe how hot it was like crazy I could not wait until shade came we even rigged up an umbrella on the lift that's how desperate we were but we got through it as you can see behind me we have all of the clouds put in the sky is a hundred percent finished and I would say I'm maybe 70 percent done with the trees but tomorrow those can shape pretty well So today's day four, and we have the sky done, we have the trees done, we have the deer projected. It's time to do the tree reflections because we're still working on that background before we go in and block that deer. It's really important. So in mixing these colors for the tree reflections, I started with my base pond color, which is called edgy gold. And I added the center stage, which is what I use the tree color. Although, the trees will not be the exact same shape as they are in reality because they'll be reflecting off of the pond, which has its own color. So everything is toned down a little bit. Whenever I actually go up and paint, I'm actually gonna water it down to make it very, very see-through, so it's more of a reflection. I'm tired. 
tired. Time to go home. So today was the very first day painting stuff in the foreground. You know, all this time we've been doing background, the trees, the lake, the reflections, the sky, all of that is really fun. But it was just a blast painting deer today, finally. I spent all day today working on the buck and I did all the blending. I think it looks really nice. But tomorrow I'm gonna be working on the deer all the way sniffing the camera. So stay tuned. With the day consisting of many, many gallons of paint, a couple pretzels here and there, and a couple ice drinks, we are so close to being done with this mural. So close. The ears are all the way done. All we have to do is the nose, the face, and the eyes, and just that edge there. I'm thinking one more day. but it's so worth it. I think it looks amazing. It's finished. I can't believe it. It's been a little over a week. And we finished this beautiful, well, realistic deer, way out of my comfort range style-wise, but we did it. Can't believe we're here. Look at her, she's a beauty.
Okay, ready? Oh. <laughs> Did it make it? Yeah. Okay, wait. 